Here's a quick update on a few important changes you'll need to be aware of when planning a Kespri RTK mission using the Mavic 3 Enterprise, along with the DJI Mobile Base Station. These changes do not apply if you are using an N-Trip account instead of the Base Station. If you are coming from the Phantom 4 RTK system, which used the Kespri mobile application for flight, the mobile application was responsible for making certain changes for you automatically. However, with the Mavic 3 Enterprise and the DJI Pilot 2 app, these changes will need to be made manually prior to flying a mission and uploading the data. Not to worry though, we'll walk you through the process and it's only a couple of short steps. First. If you are an existing user of the Kespri platform, you already have GPS information for your control points entered in Kespri Cloud. One of the required pieces of information is height, which represents the altitude of your control point. For missions using the Mavic 3 Enterprise, you'll need to take note of this height value and then perform some calculations. If your height value is represented in feet, convert this value to meters and then add 1.77 meters to that value. Alternatively, if your height value is already represented in meters, simply add 1.77 meters to that value. In either scenario, the final value in meters will need to be input as the height value within the RTK settings of the DJI Pilot 2 application. Please note, you are not making any changes to the height value already present in Kespri Cloud. You are simply referencing this value and inputting the converted value into the Pilot 2 app prior to flight. The next thing you'll need to be aware of is that at times, the DJI Pilot 2 app may not accept the height value you are entering for your control point. The geoid offset varies across the US and if it's too large, it won't accept the value and will kick it back. If it's small enough, it will accept it the first time which is why you may or may not experience the issue. In order to work around the issue, try incrementally modifying the value and each time it is accepted, adjust the value again until you reach your desired height. It's possible you may not be affected, but we wanted to give you a heads up in case you are unable to set the desired value. Thank you.